adding rational numbers. When you're adding rational numbers, there's two things to keep in mind. First, change the numbers so that they're both decimals or that they're both fractions. Two, you need to estimate what the solution will be because not only will you then have an idea of what your answer should be close to, but it will tell you what you really need to do with the numbers. And you'll see that in these examples. Negative 1 and 15 hundredths plus negative 2 and 3 tenths. First thing we said before was to make them both decimals or both fractions. Well, we're lucky in this case they're both decimals already. Second thing, we want to estimate because it will tell us if our answer is reasonable. And second, it's going to tell us what we really need to do with these numbers. Let's estimate. Let's round this to negative 1 plus negative 2. And if you do this on the number line, we start at negative 1 and we're adding negative 2 and hopefully you're an expert at adding integers. So we start at negative 1 and we're adding two negatives. We need to go down. So we go 1, 2 and we end up at negative 3. So we see that the answer should be very close to negative 3 and we also know that what we really did was add the absolute value of these and then make the answer negative. So we want to do the same thing to the original problem. Add the absolute value of these and then make the answer negative. So we've got 2.3 plus 1 and 15 hundredths. And then we make our answer negative because we're putting together some negatives here and some negatives here. So the answer is negative 3 and 45 hundredths which is very close to our estimate, which makes our answer seem extremely reasonable. Here we have 2 and a half plus negative 7 halves. Here we have a decimal. Here we have a fraction. Let's change them both so that they're the same. And a lot of people like to do decimals more because they seem like they're easier. So we've got 2 and a half plus negative 7 halves is the same as negative three and a half and so we can write this as two and a half plus negative three point five now let's estimate let's round this one to three plus negative four so i start at negative three on my number line and i'm adding four negatives so i need to go down one two three four so my answer should be close to negative one and if we look at what we really did we did 4 minus 3, which is 1, and because the negatives are more powerful, there's more of them, the answer is negative. We want to do the same thing to our original problem. Subtract them. 3.5 minus 2.5 is 1, and there's more negatives, so the answer is negative 1, which is the same as our estimate, so we know that our answer is reasonable. Negative 19 fourths plus 75 hundredths. Now this one, there is a fraction and there is a decimal. And in this case, I actually think the fraction is going to be easier because I know that 75 hundredths is the same as 3 fourths. So I have negative 19 fourths plus 3 fourths. Now I'm going to estimate. And negative 19 fourths is very close to negative 5 plus 1. Start at negative 5 on my number line, and I'm adding 1, so I need to go up, and that puts me at negative 4. Now, if you look at what I really did, is I subtracted the absolute value of these two numbers and got 4, and because there's more negatives, the answer is negative. So I need to do the same thing for the original problem. Negative 19 fourths plus 3 fourths, I need to subtract them, so I get 16 fourths. And then I need to make the answer negative because there's more negative. So it's negative 16 fourths or just negative 4. Negative 1 and 2 thirds plus negative 3 fifths. They're both fractions, so we don't need to change anything. And now let's estimate. We estimate this to be about negative 2 plus negative 1. 
So start at negative 2 on your number line and then go down 1 to negative 3. So what we really did to these two numbers is because they're both negative, we added them together and made the answer negative. We're going to do the same thing to the original problem, but we need to make sure we have common denominators. So we've got negative 1. Let's change this to a denominator of 15. So this is going to be negative 1 and 10 fifteenths plus a negative 9 fifteenths. And then we add that together. That's going to be negative 1 whole and 19 fifteenths. And then we just need to simplify, and that'll be equal to negative 2 and 4 fifteenths which is very close to negative 3, so we know that our answer is reasonable.